All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Fruits Basket Season 3, Episode 6. Man, after the last episode, holy shit, bro. I don't know what to expect now. Uh, sometimes, like I said, I think I said in the last episode, I think Fruit Basket is pretty... It's pretty kind of um, not expectable, but more like you can tell where the storyline's going because it's kind of an oldish, you know, romance uh, kind of story. So it's kind of laid out for you sometimes. And then you just completely disregard that shit comment and, um, and you realize what the hell's happening and what is going to happen and mystery and suspense and drama and holy shit. Um, it's been crazy so far, like, holy crap, and these ma crazy, crazy just surprises just coming out of nowhere is um, ridiculous. Um, with what's happened, with, obviously, with Momiji in the last episode and everything else is just, woo, can't take it. But, um, yeah, uh, as always, guys, like the video if you liked the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's go into the episode right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got a hair so short now, obviously. <laughs> it's like three people talking right there. <laughs> I love Toto's relationship with everyone. Oh, it's nice that she's got a nice friendly place to stay. Yeah, goddamn right. Fuck Akito. It's got to be brutal for Sensei to hear as well. <laughs> He's not jealous. <laughs> oh. Oh, where's he going? It's not it's not like him to miss something so important. Shigure looks so different in a suit. What the hell? Mm, like it's already broke for two people already. The final banquet. Wow. That's what this season should be called, the final banquet. Ooh. That's interesting. That's... Ooh. That's a cool line. And I'm guessing Shigure doesn't know about Momiji yet. Shigure, whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Shigere! Bro, Toru is too kind. She Shigere kind of deserved to slap there. I'm not I'm gonna be honest. Oh my god, he was being so so harsh. I love how uh, much of an important role her mom still plays in the show. From like start to finish. Ugh. She's trying so hard to find a way to break Kyovo's curse, and it's just not doing anything. Sweet old Grams. What, how does she talk? Ooh, her dad. But she clearly did. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Very, very conspicuous. Very secretive. Oh, he's breaking everything, bro. God damn, the zodiacs are strong. <laughs> Absolutely not. Surely. Well, Toru is not like that. Oh, really? She really just... Yeah. She just wants Kyokun and the... And the other Zodiacs will follow, I guess. Oh. Oh. You should, actually, Toru. You need to say this stuff to him. Oh. This moment. <laughs> I would actually like to see what her dad looks like. Can't bear to see Toru like this. Oh, really? 
God. Even more trauma to add onto Toru's history, man. And she's really spoke like that all her life as well. Him getting to hug her like through the cloth without transforming. <laughs> oh. There he goes. <laughs> oh. I feel bad for her, man. But she's... She wants Kyo and Toru to be happy together. At the expense of herself. What does he look like then? Huh? What? What? What the fuck's going on? What was that? And why was it so dark? Like... What was I seeing there? Like, the episode was like... To talk about the episode, it was kind of... I don't know. I don't know where to start. It was a lot based around Toru and, like, the relationships of everyone around her in this episode and what happened with Shigure and Izuzu and everyone else. And it was a lot based around the fact that Toru didn't know what to do about Kyo's curse. And it ends like this, and obviously we learn that obviously actually Toru's been wants to be quite selfish about it and care about her own feelings, and she just wants Kyo and then the Somas and then the Zodiacs, um, in kind of in kind of that order, um, which is you know it's nice it's nice to see Toru actually taking into consideration her own feelings, and uh, it would have been nice if she'd actually been able to say something to Kyo at the end there, but we have whatever that was. Both she like saw her mother's ghost, what seemed like, and Kyo saw something else, and I really I'm really curious as to what that was. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how it's gonna evolve from here, and develop, and that is that. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day and peace out.